You're live with Lucy Hawkins on BBC World News. For six decades have shaken but never stirred. Bond fans mark the movie that launched the super spy onto the silver screen. James Bond, one of the highest grossing film franchises in history, has generated around $7 billion globally. Seven different actors have played Bond. Uh, we saw some statistics today. Uh, we got them off the internet, though. 20% of the global population has seen at least one Bond film, but that sounds about right. And today, people all over the world are marking, can you believe, 60 years since the first James Bond film, Dr. No, when it was released. Uh, David Zariski is a James Bond superfan here in the UK to mark the occasion. Very good to see you. Dr. No was a great film, one of my favorites, Sean Connery, of course. It's amazing. I mean, Sean Connery was the template for everything. And just the other day at the BFI, they showed Dr. No in 4K and it was like reliving it all over again. Sean Connery, your favorite Bond? I'm taking a guess. There. It is. Daniel Craig's a close second, but Sean Connery, he just, to me, is James Bond. What does it mean to be a James Bond super fan? How do you embrace the Oh Bond gosh, franchise? yeah, how do you define that? So I think it's taking it to the next level. So that there's fan and fanatic where, for example, I'm wearing a suit that was made by one of the brand tailors that made them for Sean Connery. This is the Goldfinger suit where he gets his DB5. And I had it made because yesterday I was playing with $4 million Aston Martins down at Aston Martin Works. That's a fanatic. Wow, how was that? How was the Aston Martin? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, it was afraid to break it, you know, but um, still just so heady. It was a dream come true. Does Bond need to be modernized? You know, I don't think Bond needs to be modernized. I love the fact that the producers are very intelligent. They modernized everything around Bond, the yeah. bad guy, the locations, the situations, even the, uh, the villains. But uh, Bond himself, I think, needs to be kind of that, that comfortable core. And we had a Phoebe Waller-Bridge, for instance, who came in yes. and gave, you know, some more uh, empowering lines to some of the female characters, particularly. You'd, I'm sure you'd like to see that continue. Many Absolutely. people have responded positively to that. What about Bond being a woman? You know, so the, uh, the easy answer would be yes or no. My, my answer is why. I mean, is it, is it supposed to be more progressive? To, I would say don't be lazy and create really strong roles for women that maybe aren't James Bond. So no, I'm not a fan of James Bond being a woman. I think the producers have had something very similar. A few quick choir questions then. No. Favorite Bond movie? Uh, Casino Royale. Favorite Bond actress? Uh, uh, gosh, uh, Luciana Paluzzi, who okay. played Fiona Volpe. Uh, how do you have your martini? Uh, shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Have you uh, been in a quiz show about Bond? How did you do? Um, I did well. I think I got a, yeah, 100 out of 100. And finally, favorite Bond theme tune? Oh, that would be Thunderball. Oh, it's been great to have you. Thanks Thank so you. much. And the suit is fantastic, Wonderful. I have to say. Thank you so much. <laughs> You've been live with Lucy Hoffman. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Is that right?